Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Hope things are going well out there. And I'm going to teach this one to you right now, and uh, ho hopefully we have a good time doing it. So here we go. All right, so I'm going to start with the basics, uh, you know, the basic underlying chords of the song, and then I'm going to show you, you know, how to add the little melodies to it. Uh, so that way a beginner or a more, you know, intermediate player can do it. So we need a D chord. An A7, which in a regular A will work, but an A7. And then we're going to need a G chord for the first part. So check it out. I'm being followed by a moon shadow, moon shadow, moon shadow. So it goes, I'm being followed by a... So that's all on a D chord. I'm being followed by a A7 D. So D D D D D D A D G A D D D D D D D A D G A D. Okay. The next section, don't worry, I'm still going to show you the little, you know, extra stuff. But the next section is G back to D, you know, and it repeats that. And so check it out. G, G, D, D, G, G, D, G, G, D, E minor, A. So you got the E minor now. There's a new chord into this, uh, what I've taught you so far. So we need E minor and an A7. And when I say A, I mean A7, but either one, like I said, will work. So check it out. And G, G, D, D, G, G, D, G, G, D, D, E minor, A. G, G, D, D, G, G, D, E minor, A7. And then there's something that's gonna happen where it's three chords in a, you know, one beat each. Da, da, da. And that's going to be hard. I remember when I didn't really know bar chords that well, and I always wanted to play this song, and whenever I got to that part, I was kind of like, uh... Don't have to talk no more, you know? And honestly, that's better than to not play the song, because that'll force you to, um, you know, tackle that bar chord. Okay, enough of that. Let me show you what it is. So you got G, G, D, D, G, G, D. G, G, D, E minor, A. G, G, D, D, G, G, D, E minor, A, A, D, F sharp, B minor. So watch this. It's a D. Then you got to get your hand into that bar chord mode. And we're barring that second fret. And that looks like an E minor. If your bar was the capo, that would be an E minor. Then, on that same fret, you're going to scoot this little thing over and get your middle finger down there onto the third of the B of that B string right there, and then that is a B minor chord. So, but from D to that is pretty tricky for a beginner, I know that. So D, F sharp minor, B minor, and then I won't have to work no more. So it'd be won't have to, for the E minor, to A7, no more. If I ever lose my hands, lose the plow, lose my land, if I
So the best way to, to kind of combine that with the strumming, and there's two guitars in the original recording. What, what I think the best thing to do as I was kind of figuring it out was to just get the melody on this high E string and just kind of see where it is and then see how you add it within the D chord shape. So it's like... Uh, Okay, so look at that. Da, da, da. So that's the fifth fret of the high E down to the third. Da, 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 da. Then the second fret. Uh, back up, back down. Then the root, which is the D note, the third fret of the B string. Now what, when we uh, add a D chord to that, if we use a D chord as the foundation of that, that means we're going to have to stretch our pinky, which is going to be hard, stretch your pinky, but you can do it. Fifth fret of the high E. And you could... Um, so I keep kind of going back to... The, the open D string and, and the G with it, or just the open D string. So even with strumming it, you could still get that rhythm. Check it out. want to get the da da, which just holding a regular D chord is going to be the high E to the B. See that? And then when we go back to that, we want this little thing. And so what I'm doing is I'm strumming that D chord with my middle finger off so you hear the open high E string, then down onto that second fret of the high E. And I'm just making sure I'm hitting that B string from that D chord, that root note. So check it out. Okay, there's one last section. It's my favorite part of the song. It's, uh, <laughs> I love it. Did it take long to find me, right? It's like, I just love it. So what happens there, it's basically what you'd call a modulation. It goes up a key, so it feels like uplifting. It's an E major chord to an A major chord. That's all. Did it take
Check it out. There it was. Uh, thank you so much. Hopefully uh, you learned it and check it off the list of another song you can do.